So it's been quite a long time since I've produced a video. I just kind of wanted to pop in and um, give you a little bit of an update. We're going to be producing a video for uh, the lab. We've opened up a full service uh, stills lab for ECN2, for shooting ECN2. We are you know, loading, hand loading cartridges right now of uh, every stock from 50 to 200 to 50 and 500. First of all, the, the idea is to have film available because without film, you know, developing and scanning doesn't really matter. Um, so we're really hoping to uh, have the film available for you guys um, to shoot as well as uh, develop and scan. So we are uh, developing an ECN2 liquid chems. So we went ahead and uh, purchased the, uh, the Kodak kit uh, for a linear lab. And we're breaking that down into, into the you know, working solutions that we uh, process your film in. Uh, which has become really easy for us for quality control because we're we you know we have a lot of chemistry and we can keep in control of it. We know that it's uh, we know that it's in good working condition. We're not nearly as concerned with like how many rolls we're we're processing a day because we're replenishing that stock um, after every you know grouping of film that we go through. So um, the the images are uh, you know guaranteed to be you know top quality. And then of course we're scanning on the, uh, the motion picture scanner. So, um, here in Photoshop, I just have a raw scan. Um, you'll notice some of, uh, if you, it's, it's eight perfs. Um, that's a standard 24 by 36 frame, um, or what they call in the digital world, large format, um, uh, Vista vision. And so what we're doing is we're taking, essentially the scanner just has a four perf gate. So we're taking these four perfs and these four perfs and we're putting them together. You'll notice that the camera that this client was shooting on, um, a beautiful frame, by the way, uh, the, the image is kind of shifted in the, uh, in the perfs. So it's not perfectly lined up. So there's the frame before it. Um, some will have black on either side. This is the, this is the image that you'll be getting. Uh, this is a flat log scan right off of the scanner. Um, it's stitched, uh, saved as a TIFF and then you download, um, your files. So, um, we, you know, in the future we are, we are going to, um, get some LUTs put together that we can run through DaVinci Resolve um, to deal with them there. But as of right now, we're just kind of giving you the creative freedom to, to grade the images however you want. We're just going to open this up in Camera Raw. So you could do this in Lightroom. Uh, you could certainly grade them in DaVinci as well. It's not a, uh, you know, this is, is kind of however however you're most comfortable grading your, uh, your motion footage is probably... Uh, the best place to start for you. If you're just a still photographer and you don't spend a lot of time in Resolve, I get that. Um, this is as easy as, you know, it, I mean, it's just as easy as finding a white point. Um, and then we just kind of kind of massage from there. Um, you know, I like my images a little warmer. Some people don't, don't like that. So um, just make a few adjustments, make sure our highlights are in range. Um, And you can see that you can get a pretty good looking image pretty quick. Um, and again, this is all, this is all subject to your taste. You know, if there's too much green in that image for you, pull a little out. Um, if it's, uh, you know, too warm, take some of that out. You know, it's kind of endless, but the, the idea is to give you the ability to take a flat, log image with all of the detail. Um, I mean, look at the highlights here. They're all, they're all perfectly within range. And so you can really manipulate this image however you'd like. Um, I have a, this is the, the one that I did before I started recording. And I mean, it really, um, you know, it's, it's kind of endless. You, you push your images around the way that you would. So if you were to send your C41 film into, um, a C41 lab, they would, you know, throw it through their Noritsu or their Fuji or dip dunk, however they do it. But then the, the scanner is actually going, the scanning technician is actually going to scan your film and they're going to make creative decisions based on their taste of what your image. Now, granted, some of these labs are far more pro like indie film lab. Um, I know for sure. And maybe Richard's photo lab where they're, 
they allow you to upload images with a a certain color profile or what you're looking for or lean towards magenta or green or warm or cool. Um, but for the most part, you're getting someone else's creative touch as they're scanning your images. The beautiful thing about a motion picture scanner is it's going to scan your film very flat, give you all the latitude that, that you would need to, to push it around as much as you want. And you, you're the one who gets to decide uh, where you want to go with that image. Uh, so we, we really err on that. Obviously, as we scan many, many projects for um, motion picture clients, this is just the same approach that we take. We would never scan someone's original camera negative and then, you know, throw a LUD on it or, you know, make some corrections to the contrast or this and that um, for, for our liking, because who knows who's going to color that, who knows what the director and DP had in mind for that project. That's not on us to decide. So we kind of take that approach when it comes to EC and two stills. Now I know that like silver Sols, they have their, their own profiles that they apply. They also give you the log. And that's something that we're looking into, like um, creating like basically a generic contrast saturation and just white point for each uh, image. So that for a lot of photographers that just want to um, get their images back and put them online and share them with people and not have to go through the, you know, the work of, of you know, of color grading them. Uh, we understand that. And so we're just kind of looking into, you know, the most neutrally balanced contrast saturation, uh, making sure that the white point is there um, and then delivering those so that, you know, you could just take and throw them online and and share them as is. Uh, but as of now, we're really focused on letting the client kind of get the look that they want. And that's really what motion picture film is for. Um, I mean, it is, it's meant to go through a pretty extensive post process, you know, it's not, um, it's not meant to have the, the lab decide what your images look like. So all that to be said, uh, I just had like a couple other images that, um, I'm getting a lot of, uh, Yosemite photography, which is great. Um, I really, I'm really digging that, uh, multiple clients, um, I mean, the, these images are amazing. And, and the, the, the way that, um, you know, processing an ECN2, scanning on a motion picture scanner, which was meant to scan ECN2 color negative, um, or one of the things that it was meant to, meant to do, um, it really just, you know, this, this image has got ever, I mean, even the sun um, and the, and the highlights and the, you know, how the, the fall off and the gradient from, from light to dark and everything is just, it's all there. So, you know, being able to, uh, come in here and quickly get a look that you want. Um, I mean, it's usually pretty impressive how quickly you can get there. Um, or how quickly I feel like I can get there something that I'm, you know, something that I like, of course, that's, this is how I would do it. And, you know, someone else may do it completely different. Maybe you want it to be more cool. Maybe you want more green in it. Maybe you want the green out of it. Um, you know, it's all, it's all up to your personal preference, which is where we like to leave. Uh, we like to leave those decisions up to you. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's exciting. We're excited to be able to bring this to um, the U.S. market. I know Silver Cells has been doing this and uh, I may be butchering the name. Uh, they've been doing it in Germany for, for quite some time. Uh, and, you know, when we bought our scanner back in 2019, one of the first things that I was, I was already scheming was uh, how to do uh, motion picture stills. I started my oldest son is... 15 years old and I started packing, uh, you know, Kodak vision stocks into cartridges when he was a baby. So, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time and to finally get to that point where I feel like the product that we're releasing, um, and giving to our clients is, uh, is some of the best out there. Um, and you know, we want to be, uh, we want to be a part of every, every part of that process. So, um, packing film, um, selling film, uh, through midwestfilmco.com, uh, and then develop and scan. Those are the, 
you know, that's that's really just we want to be a part of the whole process. Now, there's a bunch of EC and two film out there and we're, we're not turning away anybody else's. You know, if you if you have some short ends, um, if you want to go on Kodak or B&H or wherever and buy a 400 foot roll, do it. Um, you're actually paying a lot less money than you're paying for Portra. Um, and you know, whether it's coming from a uh, film photography project or I've seen Colton Sullivan, maybe I've, I've got some cartridges from, uh, from him. He's packing it. QWD, um, has obviously been doing it for a really long time and they have their in their in-home kits too, their powder kits, which are really nice. Um, what we were using originally. Uh, so, you know, we're not, we're not like silver saws where they're just going to take their cartridges and that's it. Um, if you shoot ECN two film and it has rim jet on it, we're happy to process it for you. 